As budgets tighten and farmers focus on the profitability of their operation, they often focus on the most limiting factor impacting their yield. And for most producers, specifically corn production in the Midwest, that most limiting factor is so often nitrogen. However, focusing all of your fertilizer investment dollars only on nitrogen could be a bad idea for the profitability of your operation. Most people only focus on nitrogen fertilization, specifically for non-leguminous crops like corn, because they're considering the concept of Liebig's Law of the Minimum. Liebig's Law tells us that the yield achievable is dictated by the availability of the most limiting nutrient, but is so often misunderstood. To illustrate this concept, we're going to use the visual of a dam. The achievable yield within your operation is equivalent to the amount of water that this dam is able to hold back. The individual squares at the bottom of the dam, those represent nutrient-based yield limiting factors. Because nitrogen is the biggest hole, most producers think that's the only hole they have to plug to maximize production, and that is not necessarily true. This misperception and focusing only on a single nutrient can actually cost you money. More than likely, there are other yield limiting factors, let's just say potassium and phosphorus. So even if you plug the nitrogen hole, if either of those two nutrients are not supplied to 100% sufficiency, you're still missing out on yields and money. Now there's more to it. Let's go back to the beginning. The other misperception about Liebig's Law is that your yield is only impacted by the nutrient that is most limiting production. However, let's say I ignore my nitrogen hole completely. It's still my most limiting factor, but if I plug my potassium hole to 100% sufficiency, I still increase the achievable yield that I can make on a given field. You may be operating under the assumption that each of these individual holes operate independently of one another. However, the nature of the interaction between potassium and nitrogen is such that if I don't have adequate potassium, it can actually require more nitrogen to be supplied. In this graph, the red line represents corn response to nitrogen when potassium is not supplied to 100% sufficiency. Note when potassium is not supplied to sufficiency, the corn yield does not quite reach a maximum. The green line represents a scenario where adequate potassium has been supplied. Notice how the green line reaches a maximum yield and achieves that yield at a lower rate of nitrogen. And again, this leads to higher efficiency of fertilizer use and higher yields and higher profitability. Bottom line, as we think about crop fertilization and specifically the concept of Liebig's Law, if you want to get the most out of your nitrogen fertilizer dollar, ensure that your soil has an adequate level of potassium.